Live. Live. All right, here we are, live. Vice Gymnasium, as we have doubleheader action coming your way between the Campbell County Camels and the South Bison. We'll start it with the, the girls' game here directly, and then the boys in the second half of the doubleheader. Steve McDonald, Alan Cummings, you're listening to the SJ Science pregame show. <laughs> uh, here on 11, 12 BISN. Yes, you are. Get ready to do the national anthem. Hey, folks, this is one the girls have a chance in today. Oh, I agree. You, you, you would think Campbell County and South and you know, people know history, and people know what's gone on before, and, and, and people would be inclined to say, ah, oh, here we go again. But Campbell County a little bit down on the ladies' side, and South playing a little better every game, I think. I completely agree with you, and, you know, you said it right there. Campbell County a little down on the – little, not what we're used to, I guess you could say. They're eighth in scoring, 16th. 16th in, D in defense, Steve, giving up 59.4 points a game. So that, that's going to be huge for the Lady Bison. And last night against Thunder Basin, the South Lady Bison had this game within three points midway through the third quarter. And we're almost ready. Yeah, I picked a boogie. <laughs> <laughs> On air even. <laughs> I mean, this was a three-point ball game midway through the third last night. It was. They, they played right with them, didn't they? Had two players with double-doubles. Van Tassel, Martinez both had the double-double. So we're going to do the national anthem here. So we're going to have a sportsmanship message first, Alan. Yeah. Cheyenne South Athletics wants to remind you that good sportsmanship is one of the primary purposes of educational athletics. Our student athletes and coaches recognize that judgment calls by officials, coaches, and themselves are made in good faith and should be respected. Spectators can support both of our teams by refraining from derogatory or demeaning comments and cheers today. Please represent your community, your school, and yourself in a positive way. We hope that you will enjoy the game and support the students in a positive sportsmanlike manner. And now. There you have a beautiful <laughs> rendition by members of the South. Quiet, let's get to the starting lineups for the girls game first for Campbell County. Number 11 is Liv Castellano. She is 8.9 game average. They start number 14, Shayla Miller on. Shayla averages 12.3. Lauren Lacey is number 23. She averages 4.1. Remington Gusick, a 2.2. Points per game average, and Maddie Jacobson averages 6-3. So it looks like Shayla Miller on number 14 will be the one to watch for the Lady Camels. And then, of course, four-year South Bison junior Calista Martinez. She'll wear number two. She averages 11.9. Jaya Brown getting the start tonight. She's a senior. She'll uh, uh, average 4.9 a game and wear number 12. Riley Van Tassel, the junior. She averages 8.3. Had a double, excuse me, oh, <laughs> double-double last night. I'm getting all choked up. <laughs> She wears 22, McKenna Harlan averages 1.4. She's a junior, wears number 25. And finally, Andrea Dimas also, is she a senior? I think Dre's a senior. She's a junior. She's a junior. 
she averages 6.7, and wears number 31. Gillette in their road purple uniforms with white numbers. Hey, make sure you hit that subscribe button right down below. That subscribe button is totally free, and it just shows your support for live web streamers like 1112BISN. Marty Hartzog, Alan Wolf, and John Polman, the officiating crew tonight. A couple of veterans on the crew tonight, and Marty and Alan Wolf. And we're ready to go, Stephen. You mentioned South's never beat Campbell County. Never the Lady Bison have never defeated Campbell County. This is a great time for them to try to get that first win under their belt against the Lady Camels. But you can never discount the Lady Camels. And Alan Wolf gonna be in the jump center. Maddie Jacobson and Riley Van Tassel. Maddie's got a little size on her. I want to thank Sean Boyd for stepping in last night as the color commentator. Always nice to have him on here. And Gillette, Campbell County. I'm going to call him Gillette because that's what's on their jerseys. You call him Gillette, I'll call him Campbell County. Campbell County. You call him Peanut Butter, I'll call him Jelly. Miller on with the ball, gets it on the right wing. Looking around, and there's going to be an early turnover. Oh. What's the call here? It's going to call a foul on Campbell County. It's going to be number 23. Mm. Lauren Lacey picks up the foul there. Ooh, that's over and back, isn't it? He shouldn't be calling that from there. No, he shouldn't. So over and back, as Callista had established in the front court, threw it to a jumping player. And so a foul by Gillette and a turnover by South, and we're settled in here. Seven and a half to go first quarter, no score. Miller on, up top to Three, who's 21. 21. He didn't have her as starting. Robertson, they must have changed her out. So we have a starter that we weren't anticipating. Jay Brown down on the block. Van Tassel gets it blocked by Jacobson. Fantastic, so. had a great game last night. He got a double-double in that losing effort to the Thunder Base and Lady Bolts. And like you said, Steve, they played really well last night. And if they could, could keep that energy coming from last night into today's game, I can see them pulling that victory off against Lady Camels. So Miller on out to Lacey. They're looking down low. And that's going to be stolen away by Riley. Give Riley the steal and slow it down a little bit. Nope, she's going to keep pushing. Gets it to Dre on the left block, saves it into Harlan. Jaya Brown's gonna try a three from the left wing. Can't get it to go, hustles her own rebound down though. Jaya Brown, in my opinion, the best one on this team. And so it's good to have her out there. She can really create offense. Martinez cross court to Harlan for three. High arc can't go, there's a rebound by Van Tassel. She's in and misses the shot. Boy, there's a lid on the bucket for South. As it looks like they are off to a good start early. Andrea misses the rebound, comes down to Robertson. She walked, but she was fouled first. That's not a smart foul. That's, I, I don't want to sound negative. That's just not a smart foul. So one apiece on the team fouls. Good defense there by South. Three ball from the corner can't go, and Calista Martinez up for the rebound. Hey, make, the sure you, make sure you hit that subscribe button. As a matter of fact, if you're watching from Campbell County or for Campbell County, foul, it's an and one. Hit that, hit that thumbs up. Riley Van Tassel with a great move. Hangs Maddie Jacobson with the foul. Scores the first bucket of the game with a chance to make a three-point play. Hit that thumbs up. If you liked that last play then, regardless, that was a pretty nifty move there by Van Tassel. Might have been a little bit of a travel, but we won't say anything. And three-point play converted, so south on the board first. Three-nothing, Lady Bison, two minutes into the ball game. Old-fashioned three-point play there. The old-fashioned. The old-fashioned three-point play. 
And she's throwing it to a cutter. Stolen away by Jaya. Is she going to go coast to coast? She'll put up a right hand, can't get it to go. Demas with a bucket. Oh, my goodness. How's that not a foul? <laughs> Just like Butterfly scoreboard, South leads three to nothing, Steve. South coming out Harlan's with that intensity. Harlan's got to get it in. you got to know your time. Got to know the time. That's just a bad turn over there. South still leads, though, three to nothing. So once again, Sean Boyd joined us last night. Always great to have him here from KGWN. Does a really great job. Always welcome guest. Lauren Lacey out top. Cutting. And that's Maddie Robertson. Nice feed there to the cutter and a two-point basket. Now. Gillette will pressure in the backcourt. Harlan with it. It's just man pressure, and they'll back out of it. They get it to Callista. She'll bring it across. They're awful reachy. They were handsy in the JV game. And Callista with an ill shot there and off the mark. You know, the last few games that we've seen here for the Lady Bison, Callista's been more, she seems like she's a slow start this season where the first half's really struggles to find a groove, but in that second uh, half, she takes it over. We need so. to keep Maddie Robertson out of the middle. She's got all four of the Camel's points. Let's hope that she can break that and get really hot here in the first half, really help this Lady Bison establish an offensive dominance over the Lady Camels. Boy, number 21's got hands all over McKenna on the far side. Now Callista with it up top. Oh, oh it's a face. hit to the head. Boy, sometimes, we gotta call a foul at some point here. Yep. Yep, People getting I agree. their head smacked and grabbed and manhandled and everything else. I like how South the Lady Bison the are pushing way. it. I like how they're pushing the pace and not throwing those long full court passes. There's a foul Push there. Push the ball like that. Don't take those long cross court passes because it cuts down on your turnovers, first of all. But they're really pushing the offensive pace, so. So Maddie Robertson gets a foul. That's the third team foul for Gillette. So Riley misses the, the front, the front one of the two. Your butt cheeks sore. <laughs> Is that what she said? Uh, something. Raina Tovar in for South. She does make the second. 6-4 South. Liv Castellanos will bring it up and it'll go out off of South. So Gillette will bring it in near side. Get it to Robertson. Jump pop there, shot's no good. Rebound comes down to Reina Tovar. Oh, I dropped my Castellanos pencil. Castellanos on the, on the uh, miss. Oh, there's a turnover by South. There's shot a by foul Lacey. on Blue. Foul away from the ball on number 11. That's going to go on Castellanos. They did that a lot in the JV game as well. That's a great call there by the veteran. The veteran himself. Four team fouls for Gillette. Four different players, one apiece. Again, they'll fight the inbound pass. Get it back to her, good. Angelina Liggett now in the game for South. Up to Tovar, to Harlan. Looking down low, pass a little bit too high, and there's a push from behind. Is that gonna be Robert, or is that gonna be uh, 35 there? I think it is, <laughs> Maddie Jacobson. Wow, that's a tough one. Jacobson averages six points a game for the Lady Camels. 38% field I'd go goal go at shooter. her again. Yep. That's a foul there, too. Oh, is that her third? That might be her third. It is. Yes. Oh, that's That's her third huge. foul. 
Oh, that's Holy the risk. Cow. That's the risk you take, leaving her out there with two fouls in the first Told quarter. Told you to go right back at her. 324 left in the first quarter, and she's going to be sitting. Riley hits the first. So there'll be a 30 second timeout. Hound's going to do a little sponsorship love. Here on the Bison. 11 12 BISN. Choosing the right collector car insurance is critical. That's why American National provides clients with reliable, consistent service. Robert Martinez has first-hand knowledge of the concerns collector car and truck owners face, and American National has created a policy with the coverage and enhancements you need to protect your valuable investment. Call Robert Martinez with American National Insurance at 307-514-5003 or visit his office at 2005 Central Avenue in Cheyenne. Ah, ticky-tack foul there. Real ticky-tack. It's going to be Demas, her fourth. Andrea, her first. <laughs> first, I mean. Jeez. You're scaring people, Alan. <laughs> Time out on the floor. Oh, sorry about that, everybody. 30-second timeout. Looks like Gillette will call their second 30-second timeout. Let's give them some love on 11-12 BISN. Your Bison Network. And we're 
Whether you're a right competitive athlete insurance or a weekend critical. warrior, That's it's why frustrating when an injury keeps you from the activities you love. Service. Robert Martinez has first-hand knowledge of the concerns collector car and truck owners face, and American National has created a policy with the coverage and enhancements you need to protect your valuable investment. Call Robert Martinez with American National Insurance at 307-514-5003 or visit his office at 200. Seconds to go. First half, South with the 8-4 lead, and Gillette misses the bunny down low. Ball is volleyballed around and comes to Calista Martinez. South breaks it now. Cutting. There's going to be a blocking foul. Who's that on now? Oh, that was a good call. That was a good call. It's going to send Martinez to the free throw line for two shots. Martinez had a double-double along with Riley Van Tassel last night. So if these two can get going early, like I mentioned, usually Callista slow in the first half, picks it up in the second half. If we can change that, then the Lady Bison can really, really take control of the game. If she makes this field goal, this will be the largest lead that South has ever had against Campbell County, ever. And the defender's feet. Were I jinxed us. I jinxed us. Defender's feet were not set there, and if your feet aren't set, that's, they're going to be called every time. Every time. <laughs> 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 she had a clear path as well, too, so she was not legal. Oh, she missed them both. I jinxed us. Didn't I want jinxed to us, man. Why'd you have to say something? Gosh darn it. Robertson. Oh, that's, yep. oh, yeah, no, that's she, a great call. It is a great that's call. That's a great call there. Other than the fact the offensive player put her shoulder down, and I just don't like <laughs> Eight to five is the foul count here, and we're still in the first quarter. Whoa. It's been a long game. AAU has destroyed the game. <laughs> uh, three basket there, and it's going to be out of bounds. Oh, they weren't able goodness. to get the rebound checked down. For those of you who wonder where I'm laughing, I'm laughing at some of the comments that I'm hearing from the crowd out here. It's just it's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> South with the ball, little man pressure again in the backcourt. Jaya will break it, and they'll set the offense. There's been 28 fouls called in the first quarter. <laughs> I bet there's been 13. 13 of them in the first quarter. So. Ball first side. Get to the second side, people. Bodies on the floor in the paint. Nice patient offense, though, by South. They're not forcing anything right now. Under a minute left. No reason to force it. Wait until... The Campbell County Lady Camels give you a an opening, like right there to Tovar, which came to you. There's a three. She, three ball Tovar, oh. a little off the mark. Yeah, you have that good possession. You really move the ball, and you don't get a really good shot at yeah. the end of it. There's a three ball there, high arc. Boy, they're not even close with their three-pointers. Miller on misses the layup. Then there's an air ball layup by 23. Boy, South, South not on the boards tonight like they were last night. They I'll tell you that much. There's a block. They're just refusing to And bodies to banging all over the place. Another miss by Gillette. Boy, I bet they're shooting a poor percentage. McKenna Harlan gets the bucket. She can't get the buddy goal. This is an ugly basketball game, folks. <laughs> uh, early on. South still leads though, 8 to 4 on the Majestic Butterfly scoreboard. Both teams struggling. I don't see a four in their lineup. So let me find out. Here comes Miller on. Stop, pop, 12-footer. And a count. good at the buzzer. So we've got one quarter in the books to score. South eight. Gillette six. You're listening to High School Basketball on 11-12 BISAN. Your Bison Network. competitive athlete or a weekend warrior, it's frustrating when an injury keeps you from the activities you love. Physical Therapy and Balance Centers has helped thousands of clients recover from sports injuries and reclaim their lifestyles. Treating a variety of injuries, including sprains, post-surgical, foot and ankle injuries, as well as back and neck injuries. 
Our therapists will develop a personalized treatment plan to help you heal and hasten your recovery and minimize your risk of re-injury. Call 307-772-0955 to schedule an appointment now. Physical Therapy and Balance Centers, let's get moving again. get ready to start the second quarter, I want to make sure you go to YouTube. Type in Brett Henderson, Worth the Work Fitness. Really great workouts, at-home hit-type workouts. 30 minutes, anytime you want at your home. Let him know, 1112 BISN sent you. Helped sub change my life, Steve. Like I said, I've mentioned this all winter long so far. Foul. 40 pounds I've lost off his workouts. South in the offensive end. Up 8-6, they feed down low to Van Tassel. Riley, right-hander, up and in. She has eight in the game. South now has their largest lead ever against the Lady Camels. It's only four points. Oh, never mind. I forgot they scored. They've matched. They're almost there. <laughs> they just need one more point. Robertson misses the shot there. South with the rebound. I wanted to say that because that was a rare occurrence in the first quarter towards the end there. Salvo with a chance to take a six-point lead here. Oh, that's a good little head fake by Brown. Get in there. Uh. Brown looks a little hobbled after that collision there. Oh, wide open three. Yeah, just nowhere near the mark. That's a foul! <laughs> but it'll be the south. It'll be the ball will be to the south bison. I personally think that was a good no call. Well, the sh stripes sure changed you, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> Callista down low in traffic, up and in for a bucket. And there and it south is. South has a six point lead. There it is. South now has their largest lead ever against the Lady Camels. Got to behave ourselves now. <laughs> we got the Popo sitting down by us. Calista Martinez with the steal. She's going to go in, right hander up and in. Good. South up by eight, and timeout, Gillette. Pini Business Services timeout. It'll be a 30 second, so give them some love, Alan, on 1112 BISN. Your Bison Network. I mean, my Fitbit, bro. That was on air. <laughs> <laughs> An auto repair shop that is honest, performs quality body repairs and refinish, and strives for excellent customer service. And we guarantee our workmanship for as long as you own your vehicle. Call us today at 307-635-0639 or visit us at 1910 Missile Drive in Cheyenne. Missile Drive Auto Body. Quality without compromise. Hey, we're back here with second quarter action. Make sure you visit CheyenneRec.org. CheyenneRec.org for all of your family activity needs here in the capital city of Cheyenne, Wyoming. Steve McDonald, Alan Cummings, and Manny Fardella. Table side here. I Boy, what Alan's sure giving a lot of free reads these days. If you want your free advertisement, I don't give know. us a call. BISN. Just call <laughs> Alan. Hook you up. So, for the storied history of the Lady Bison and the Lady Camels, South has their largest lead ever against Gillette at 14 to 6, an eight point lead. That's a big deal for us here. That is, because we've never really been in games against Lady Oh, Canada. there's a bank shot there. Two points. First outside shot, Remington Gussick. Two first two points of the second quarter for Gillette. Now Sal, bring it in. Don't need to be in a hurry. Still got that six-point lead. Be patient here in the offensive end. Look for a good shot. Nice, patient offense. But you want to execute to score. 
Dre Deeps, oh, she left her alone. Boy, she just wow. It. The Red Sea parted, it just and a Drea for her. went in for an easy layup. I bet you her eyes got huge, as huge as the basketball. Like the, I look like the Patriot deep run defense there. <laughs> yep. Uh, look like the. <laughs> Callista gets her second foul. That could be troublesome. It's going to send Castellanos. Castellanos. Castellanos, 65% free throw shooter on the season. Now, these stats are coming into this, this week, so I don't know how she did last night. <laughs> Campbell County overall, 59%. They're 2-1 and one in, the north, in the northeast quadrant, Steve, so they only average 47 points a game. And she hits both. I got to adjust the leveling of my camera. 16-10, South with the lead and the ball. Ken Harlan on the right elbow, up top to Demas. Ooh, she traveled there. They missed it. She traveled there, too, and they missed it. Jay Brown, three, good! Ball. Largest lead of the ball game. Largest lead of the history of this series for South. Nine points. Birch, running right-hander, that's good. Boy, they're going to be trading now. South's got to figure out a way to get a few more stops. Try to get this lead up to double digits, see if it kind of takes them out of their game, the Lady Camels, and another There's turnover. There's a steal or turnover there. It's only the third turnover of the game for the Lady Bison so and far. And held ball, held ball, ball held ball. It's going to be blue ball. Too easy. Get the rebound. Oh my goodness. Yep. That's gotta be on Riley, I would think. Nope, they're gonna yep, they called it on Riley. Oh, yeah. yeah, I think so. Nope, blue. Oh, are you kidding me? I agree with it. I agree with it. <laughs> I don't at all. <laughs> Honestly, I would have let it go because they were both making a play on the ball. <laughs> So that's going to send Van Tassel to the free throw line, Steve, who's got eight points and two rebounds. These free throws being brought to you by Missile Drive Auto Body. Missile Drive Auto Body, quality without compromise. Misses the front end of a one and one. Marty had a better look at it than I did. So I will defer to the look he had. There's the cutter, number 25. She can't hold it. Unforced turnover. 25 is Emma da da Daly. So South with the ball and the seven point lead midway, second quarter. So I'll be looking for a good shot here. That's, That's a kick. <laughs> Drea Demas, when she first played played varsity earlier this season, you could see her lack of confidence. Oh, yeah. But in JV, she would totally own it. Well, then Coach DeBrian started her against Cheyenne East, and she's been just a, an amazing scorer for the Lady Bison. South will reset it out top. She's a natural scorer. She knows how to get to the rim, so she's been a key contributor. McKenna Harlan down low for a two-point basket. South now with a nine-point lead again. Well, she went high off the glass on that one, too. Uh, In and out. Calista Martinez with the rebound. I believe that was Castellanos with the shot. South looking to get a double-digit lead, and Riley just throws it way too tall for Callista. Nah, it's turnovers like that that just... Miller on and Birch back checking in for Gillette. 
Make you go, huh? Things that make you go, huh? I'm frantically loading our advertisements for today. I want to thank everybody for watching, wherever you're watching from. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's totally free. Just Give shows like. your support. Oh, Castellanos with a good move down low. She'll score the two-point basket. South quickly the other way. Demas pushing the issue to Harlan. Now they'll slow it up and get into something. Ooh, she should have shot that. Top of the key. South going to run some clock. Wait for an opening. I like this. I like this move right here. Yep. See if they can take that seven-point lead till half. You yeah. don't even need to go Look anymore. at that hole right there. Yeah, why didn't she... Oh, oh Reina miss. misses the layup. Dang oh. it. That was another yeah, right one. The, there. The defense just opened up for her. And just parted like the, like the Patriots run defense again. <laughs> I just give it Manny some stuff. <laughs> Three lead changes in this game all early in the first quarter. South pretty much been leading the whole way. Largest lead for South, nine. Largest lead for Campbell County, one. Jaya Brown, that's a nice move to get by her defender to set the offense. Two or five to go, and now they're going to. Now let's see if they'll do it again. There's no help side. Bit. There's no help side. I take it. Take it. There's no help side. I'd have Andrea take it right now. But they're attacking top of the key. That's exactly what you do. And foul. Pushing the issue. So we're going to have some missile drive auto body free throws coming up. If you have a ding, a dent, you need a paint job, car tries to get broken into and they scrape the paint off your door, file your insurance claim, then go see them. 31 with the foul. Tenth team foul. Double bonus now, so she'll get two free throws here. D -d 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 Drea. She hits her first. She's got three. What did you used to call her last year? Funky Cold Medemus. Funky Cold Medemus. And she misses the second. But the rebound hustled down by Angelina Liggett. South with four offensive rebounds. That's... So we're going defense for offense here. Or should I say offense for defense? 148 to go. South with an eight point lead here and the ball. Oh, and they just throw it away. Threw it to the invisible lady who had her opponent posted up. That's good defense by Tovar. Well, that's got to be a foul there that by is. 14, right? And that's going to send Liggett to the free throw line, but she's hurt. Well, she's got to come oh, off now. Gillette is in a little bit of foul trouble here. Oh, they were on their JV team, too. That's going to send Harlan to the free throw line. Yes, you do. If yeah, you're going you in do. for Liggett. <laughs> yes, right. you do. You are right. Unless they call a timeout. No pressure. She already checked in. She already checked in. So Harlan, 0 for 2 from the free throw line, just found out she's going to be shooting free throws for the injured player, Liggett. And her eyes got as big as a basketball again. South leading 22 to 14. She's like, I got to shoot free throws? I'm fixing <laughs> the score right now. It is 22 to 14, just so you know. Uh, well, she was worried about airballing it, and at least she got. At least she hit the rim. I gotta shoot free throws. Huh? What? Huh? That's what she said when she was at the table. I gotta shoot free throws. <laughs> and her eyes got all big. <laughs> I gotta shoot free throws. <laughs> you don't understand. I airballed the last one. Ow! That's what she said. She was in her own head before she even got on the court. 
Gillette the other way. Lacey. That's, that's a, a travel. Oh, I don't. Maybe not. I thought she picked it up. I thought she did too, but then three uh, ball there. The can't rebound. go. Boy, South is not doing a good job on the boards tonight. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, that's a three. Three ball. ball there by number 23. Lacey. Now the lead's down to just five. Lady Camels do average 32 rebounds a game, which is sixth in the 4A conference. South only averaging 25, which is 15th. But we let our opponents re get through 30 rebounds. They were rebounds all over the boards last night, though. Demas with it a minute to go till half. Well, two players were. Harlan with the turnover. Timeout. Gillette, that's going to have to be a 60 because he's used his 230. So let's take a timeout with him here on 1112 BISN. Your Bison Network. Missile Drive Auto Body is a full-service auto body repair facility in Cheyenne, Wyoming. We have established a reputation as an auto repair shop that is honest, performs quality body repairs and refinish, and strives for excellent customer service. And we guarantee our workmanship for as long as you own your vehicle. Call us today at 307-635-0639 or visit us at 1910 Missile Drive in Cheyenne. Missile Drive Auto Body, quality without compromise. So Gillette Ball, one minute to go. First half, South with a five-point lead, 22-17. to 17. See if they can get a stop here and maybe increase this lead. You want to get a stop because momentum slowly creeping back onto their side. As there, Castellanos with a good shot there. And she's starting to heat up a little bit from that baseline. Left side of the basket. Three-point lead now. 5-0 run by the Lady Camels. So South going to look for a last bucket here. Yeah. That's a travel! That's a travel! She had it when she was sitting up and laid down with it. You can sit up with the ball. Though. Huh? You can sit up. She was sitting up and laid down oh, with it. Oh, did she lay down? Coach is going to get a timeout, though. Man, how many do they have left? This will be their, they're only going to have one left, right? That's JV coach. I'd be telling JV coach to sit down. I'd be telling, that's a good job by Marty, telling that JV coach he's the coach. <laughs> it's going to be a full timeout, so we're going to take a full timeout with him here as drama builds at Bison Gymnasium, Steve. On 11 12 BISA. Your Bison Network. Are you tired of living in pain? Do you just want to feel better, move better, and love your life? Then it's time to get physical. At Twenty-three point six seconds to go. South with a three-point lead. Gillette will have a chance at the last possession, perhaps. Castellanos kind of trying to take over for Gillette. There's Lacey outside to Robertson. She's going to put up a thrust way off the mark. Comes down to Jaya Brown. She has 10 seconds. And they're not going to get a shot off. And that'll be the end of the first half. So the score, South with the lead at halftime. It's the Lady Bison 22, the Lady Camels 19. You're listening to High School Basketball on 1112 BISN. Your Bison Network.
Pena Business Services, providing bookkeeping, payroll, tax, and notary services since 2007. At Pena Business Services, they help small to medium sized companies and nonprofits for all your bookkeeping, payroll, and tax needs. They also help individuals with their tax preparations, helping manage your day to day accounting with services provided on a schedule that fits your budget. Their goal is providing business owners like you peace of mind on your bookkeeping, payroll, and tax concerns so you can focus on your business. Bookkeeping is like a puzzle. Do you know where to put all of the pieces? Give Pena Business Services a call at 307-369-2708 to set up a free consultation. Welcome to the historic Round Top Mountain Motel and Cabins. Located in scenic Thermopolis, Wyoming, it is within walking distance access to the Hot Springs State Park, as well as world-class fishing, motorcycling, golfing, rodeo grounds, and downtown shopping and restaurants. A Wyoming family-owned and operated motel for travelers offers seasonal rates for nightly, weekly, and monthly rentals. Senior, military, and government discounts are also available. Stay at the Round Top Mountain Motel and Cabins on your next visit to Thermopolis, Wyoming. Make your reservation by calling 307-421 7520 and tell them 1112 BISN Center. Activity programs instill a sense of pride in school and community. At a cost of only 1 to 3 percent of overall school budget, high school activity programs are a bargain. Activities are not a diversion but rather an extension of a good educational program. Mental and physical health are improved through activities. Schools that have music programs have higher graduation rates 90.2 percent compared to 72.9 percent. Statistics aside, join the ride. We are Wyoming High Schools. Missile Drive Auto Body is a full-service auto body repair facility in Cheyenne, Wyoming. We have established a reputation as an auto repair shop that is honest, performs quality body repairs and refinish, and strives for excellent customer service. And we guarantee our workmanship for as long as you own your vehicle. Call us today at 307-635-0639 or visit us at 1910 Missile Drive in Cheyenne. Missile Drive Auto Body. Quality without compromise. You're watching the Bison. 1112 BISN. Your Bison Network. It's much more affordable than you realize to protect your family with the Robert Martinez Agency. Having life insurance will protect you and your loved ones and help ensure the future. As a trusted advisor, Robert Martinez will guide you through the wide range of life insurance plans and their fantastic benefits to find an affordable plan with the right coverages. Working to guide and secure your future. Robert Martinez Agency, 20th and Central in downtown Cheyenne. Call for a no-obligation consultation and quote at 307-514-5003. Whether you're a competitive athlete or a weekend warrior, it's frustrating when an injury keeps you from the activities you love. Physical Therapy and Balance Centers has helped thousands of clients recover from sports injuries and reclaim their lifestyles, treating a variety of injuries including sprains, post-surgical, foot and ankle injuries, as well as back and neck injuries. Our therapists will develop a personalized treatment plan to help you heal and hasten your recovery and minimize your risk of re-injury. Call 307-772-0955 to schedule an appointment now. Physical Therapy and Balance Centers, let's get moving again. Majestic Butterfly Beauty Salon knows great hair. Whether it's for a trim, getting rid of stubborn gray hair, or just freshen up, Majestic Butterfly is a cut above the rest. Formal hairdos for school dances or getting ready for the happiest day of your life. The professionals at Majestic Butterfly know how to make you look your best and feel your best for every day and for every occasion. Offering women's, men's, and children haircuts, color services, perms, eyelash extensions, and eyebrow and lip waxing. Call 307-369-2201 now for a free consultation and schedule your appointment. Stylists can also be contacted directly at the numbers below. Locally owned and family friendly, Majestic Butterfly, hair and beyond. For the friendships. For the memories. For the excitement. For the challenge. For the love of the game. Time management. To rise above the challenge to respect others, to be humble, to never quit. The officials, to the positive fans, the parents, 
to the coaches. To the teammates. We are Wyoming High Schools. Hit a deer. Parking lot dings, hail damage, or just roadway demolition derby? No matter how your vehicle gets damaged, Missile Drive Auto Body will make sure it gets repaired back to pre-loss condition and as quickly as possible. No shortcuts, no compromises. And remember, where you get your car repaired is not your insurance company's decision, it's yours. Call today for an estimate appointment at 307-635-0639. Missile Drive Auto Body. Quality without compromise. This broadcast is being brought to you by the Bison, 1112-B-I-S-N, your Bison Network. Physical Therapy and Balance Centers in Cheyenne is unlike any therapy center you've been to before. Our highly skilled, compassionate team of therapy providers are 100% focused on achieving optimal health and wellness for you. If you are tired of living in pain, want to just feel better and move better, or want to improve your strength, endurance, and physical conditioning, then it's time to get physical. Experience the physical difference today by calling 307-772-0955 or visit their website at physicalcenters.com. Physical Therapy Therapy and Balance Centers. Let's get moving again. More than 7.7 million American teenagers participate in high school sports every year, including about 19,000 here in Wyoming. They're all learning essential life lessons, like the importance of hard work, time management, and self-discipline, skills that are helping them become better leaders and more active, responsible citizens. This message presented by the Wyoming High School Activities Association and the Wyoming Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Bookkeeping is like a puzzle. Do you know where to put all the pieces? Pena Business Services does and they can help. Realizing your company is like its own unique puzzle, it's their goal to show you how your company is reaching its goals on a weekly, monthly, or quarterly basis. Offering bookkeeping, payroll, and tax services that are tailored to fit your business. At Pena Business Services, they can help allow you to focus on your business and effectively serve your customers. Set up your free consultation now by calling 307-369-2708. Pena Business Services, solving your bookkeeping puzzle one piece at a time. Hey, this is Steve. And this is Alan. And you're listening to The Bison on 1112 BISN. Your Bison Network. Choosing the right collector car insurance is critical. That's why American National provides clients with reliable, consistent service. Robert Martinez has first-hand knowledge of the concerns collector car and truck owners face, and American National has created a policy with the coverage and enhancements you need to protect your valuable investment. Call Robert Martinez with American National Insurance at 307-514-5003 or visit his office at 2005 Central Avenue in Cheyenne. The Round Top Mountain Motel and Cabins is the place to stay the next time you're in Thermopolis, Wyoming. One review from TripAdvisor says, The Round Top is a great place to stay, not only because it's old-fashioned and quaint, not only because it's very inexpensive, and not only because you truly feel like a guest, it is also just a 10-minute walk to the hot springs. I don't know why you'd want to stay anywhere else. Make your reservation now at the Round Top Mountain Motel and Cabins by calling 307-421-7520. Majestic Butterfly Beauty Salon treats your hair like their canvas. Locally owned and family friendly, Majestic Butterfly offers women, men's, and children haircuts, as well as color services and perms. Your hair is their masterpiece. So if you are looking for a new style, great hair doesn't happen by chance, it happens by appointment. Our stylists can schedule an appointment by calling any of the numbers below, or you can call Majestic Butterfly directly at 307-369-2201. Majestic Butterfly, beautiful hair with beautiful care. Back here for second half action here on the Bison, 1112 BISN. Your Lady Bison leading 22 to 19. I'm Goonie. 
led by Riley Van Tassel, who's got eight points, two rebounds. She's four for six from the free throw line. She's followed by Martinez with six points, three rebounds. South only with six turnovers. And they'll begin with possession, Steve. So South with a three-point lead at halftime. They'll start the second half moving to our right. And they will have the first crack at it here. Lady Camels, 4-10 and ten on the year. 5-10. and 5-10. and ten. Lady Bison are <laughs> waiting for it, Al. Sorry, I'm looking. I'm watching okay. the play. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Brown, 3-0. Oh. <laughs> Off the mark, rebounded. <clears throat> and Gillette will have it for their first possession of the second half. Castellanos, she'll try three. That's an air ball. Twenty-two nineteen on the majestic butterfly scoreboard. Okay, South is four and eleven after last night's loss to Sheridan. Andrea. Gets it out to Callista. Wide open three. Callista up for hard with an offensive rebound. Put back. Can't get it to go. And I believe there's going to be a foul on JF. Wow, it's really good seeing Jaya shoot those, though. It really is because she can, she can knock them down. She's, she's one for four from deep right now, but she's one of those shooters that once she starts getting some to go down, she'll get them to start falling. Gillette now with the possession. Jacobson gets it to Lacey, and she fires a three ball long as well. Fifth rebound for Callista. So they've got to be. I think they've made one three on the night, and they've probably taken a ten of them or so. Ah, oh, That's trouble. Yep. yep, they were one for four going into the half. One for six now. Another turnover south. Get her the ball, Allen. <laughs> so number so. 14, Shalia. Is it Shalea? Shayla. Shayla. Miller on. There's a steal. Give it to Drea. As she knocks the ball away, and South will come quickly the other way. Two minutes into the second half, we haven't had a point scored. McKenna gets it back out to Callista. There's the three ball. Money in the bank. But what I tell you, Callista usually starts off slow in the first half, and then she gets going in the second half. So hopefully that's a good Nine start Nine points there. for her in the ball game. Back to a six-point lead. Missed shot there by Robertson. Lady Bison came out wanting to establish the energy from last night's, even though they lost. Wanted to establish Calista that. going to bust again. Oh, sorry, Alan. No, that's good. That's yeah, I'm good. I'm excited. And they, and they really have. They've led this whole game. There's only been three lead changes. That was really early in the first quarter. South's pretty much led the whole way after that. There's a three ball there as but Maddie Robertson gets one to fall. You've got to credit the Lady Camels, though. They, have, they will not go away. South's largest lead at nine. And ever since that lead's been nine a couple times, it's been chopped down to three on a, on a couple occasions now. So don't, don't roll. Oh, that's a good timeout. They were, she was about to get called for a travel. See what he has here. It's going to be a full. So let's take it with him. 25-22 South here on 1112 BISN. Your Bison Network. Physical Therapy and Balance Centers in Cheyenne is unlike any therapy center you've been to before. Our highly skilled, compassionate team of therapy providers are 100% focused on achieving optimal health and wellness for you. If you are tired of living in pain, want to just feel better and move better, or want to improve your strength, endurance, and physical conditioning, then it's time to get physical. Experience the physical difference today by calling 307-772-0955 or visit their website at physicalcenters.com. Physical Therapy and Balance Centers. Let's get moving again. Well, 
And we're back. Your South Lady Bison leading 25 to 22 over the Lady Camels from Gillette. The Campbell County Lady Camels. We always said Gillette before even, not just because it was on their uniforms, but because it was just easier to say. Speaking of their uniforms, they are purple with white letters and white waistbands. <laughs> <laughs> I like the white waistbands. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Dude, how do you... That's a great segue into the uniform. Isn't it? <laughs> South with the three-point lead, working it in their offensive end. Tried to feed down low to Riley. Too much. McKenna Harlan gets it. Now Riley has it. She's going to press the issue. Volleyballed outside. That's a foul. Thank you. Three fouls on her. Well, you know, at least it's settled down a little. At this point in the first quarter, there were 18 fouls called between both teams already. So it's yeah. good that the ladies. Kind of like the JV game, right? Yeah. <laughs> McKenna Harlan with it. That's going to be a double. I'd call a double. Oh, they're going to call offensive. I was looking on this end. That's offensive, Marty. It's going to be on Jay Brown. <laughs> oh, Marty. Come on, Marty. <laughs> Coach DeBrian. That's Coach DeBrian you hear in the background. <laughs> you no. Know. Oh. So there's going to be. Foul called there. Jay Brown shaking her head. On. I think it's going to be two quick ones on Brown. Nope. nope. 25, McKenna Harlan. McKenna Harlan picks up her second. That's her third. Her third. <laughs> Nope, they only got it for two. What did I get her for an extra? Did she make that? Nope. 25 to 22 still. Number 14's at the line. Shayla Millerin. Each team with a hit of a pair of threes. That's it. Just one three each, and that's all we've had. Oh, until that free throw. God dang it, Steve. Gosh darn it. God dang it. 25-23 is your score now as Demas gets the ball tipped back and she's going to pick up the ball. So South has scoreless here in the second half for through four minutes. Now we, we hit a three. Oh, I guess they, I guess they do have that three-point basket. My bad, they had 22 at half. Miller on. It's only a two. And the score is tied. So 25-25 South. Last time the score was tied was 0-0. Coming up empty. That's my expert analysis on 11-12 PISA. <laughs> <laughs> South. Needs to get a nine, bucket here. Pair of nine-digit leads. Now it's just cut down. That's a good timeout by DeBron. Good timeout. So, 60-second timeout by Coach DeBron. Oh, it was only a 30, I guess. So we'll keep it here and let Allen play some Love for the sponsors on 1112 BISN. Let's go ahead and give us a station ID. Watching the Bison, 1112 BISN, your Bison Network. And yep. we're back. 25-25. We got a tie ball game here at Bison Gymnasium. I'm bound to lick it. What? Well, I thought the Gillette player bounced it out of bounds. But they'll come away with the possession here. Ball game tied, 3.18 to go. Oh, there's a nice hustle play by Martinez, knock it out of bounds. And you know, I'll tell you what, Gillette looking to take their first lead since like 4-3 to three or 6-5, yeah. to five, I think is what it was. Third quarter's always been a trouble quarter for the Lady Bison. Turnovers and defensive lapses is usually what got him in trouble in the third quarters. Wide open three there. 
Missed. Lack of rebound, he's been killing us this game. Another miss there. And finally, rebound comes down to Callista. Turin Riley, two on two. She's going to get to the hole. Get a block by number 35. Jacobson back in the game with those three fouls, affecting shots. Oh, Castellanos gives them the lead now. And there it is. The lead has changed. Wow, they're on a 2 4 5 8 0 run here. South was ahead 25 19 early in the third. It's now 27 25, Gillette. South looking for a good shot. Calista wanted it, it was a little bit late. She'll get it out, reset it to Angelina. Dre is going to look for a three, no good, long. And she's only got three points this game. Boy, they're coming the other way quickly is Gillette. Jacobson with the shot. Boy, and just out hustled by number 31, Remington Gussick. And Gillette now with a four point lead. Minute 53 to go. South, South desperate off. for a bucket. South did better when they pressed the, pressed the pace in that first half. And right now, the. It's been over, it's been turned, you know, the pay, the, the drive <laughs> is, Gillette's really pushing the pace and. Let's see who picks up the foul for Gillette here. This is a huge, huge opportunity for the Lady Bison to take that momentum back. And that's going to be two free throws for Andrea Dimas, who's only got three points and she's one of their better scorers. So Mildred maybe, Ryan. go ahead. Maybe trying to find another, another way to get Drea back involved offensively. She makes the first one of the missile drive auto body free throws because missile drive auto body quality without compromise. I heard that somewhere. 29-26 <laughs> now. Long off the iron with the second one, so they cut the lead to three. Looking for a defensive stop here. Minute 30 to go, third quarter. And that's a little bit too easy as Milleron gets right to the bucket. It's a five-point lead now for Gillette, their biggest of the game. Now Callista comes the other way. She's going to be fouled. It's going to be on the floor, I believe. Mm -hmm. Gillette has their largest lead of the game at five points. 21, that's Robertson. So three camel, lady camels have three fouls each. I think South needs, South needs to press the action and... Maybe get one of them in some trouble or out of the game. I'll tell you what, Lady Bison, I mean, the Lady Camels. Reagan Moore sees her first action of the game. That's not good. And the ball that goes off her hands. Travel. Oh, that should have been a travel. She rolled over with the ball. How could she roll from her stomach to her back with the basketball? Wow. She, he, must have, he must have seen that she didn't have possession. 31-26. South has got to get a stop here. They, they don't want to get this thing. This is a very it's important be out of reach for possession right here. Lady Camel's playing totally different with 35 back in the ball. Game. Oh, that's a three ball there, and this thing's up to eight now, and there's a south turnover. Who turned it over? It went off the hands of uh, Tovar, I believe. Forty-seven point eight seconds to go. Gillette now with an eight-point lead. They just kind of steadied the course here. That's a. That's. Oh. Oh, she traveled. She was legally established. That was a legally established. Att Personal foul. So Moore's going to get the foul there. Gillette with the ball, 33 seconds to go till halftime. Excuse me, in the third quarter, rather. And that should be South Ball on the rebound. 34-26. See if South has a chance to get the last shot here. They scored a whopping four points here in the third quarter. Gillette, on the other hand, is 15. 
So they're going to be looking for a last shot here. There's a foul there. Let's see who they call. It's going to send Martinez to the free two. throw He's line. Get the foul. Fifty-six percent free throw shooter on the season. Boy, two of these would be real good here. That'd be really big for the Lady Bison on the Majestic Butterfly scoreboard during these missile drive auto body free throws. Cut it to a two possession <laughs> game. Money on the first. One for three so far. Ten points for Callista. Ten points, six rebounds. She's on her way to another double double. A violation on blue, so they're going to give one so more she's shot. She's going to get another shot here. And she makes good on it. So three seconds left. There's a steal. Is Riley going to get it up? She does. Oh, misses the layup, but that'll take us to the fourth quarter. So we got a great ball game for you here. It's the Gillette Lady Camels 34, the South Lady Bison 28. Fourth quarter action coming up on 11-12 BISN. Your Bison Network. Majestic Butterfly Beauty Salon knows great hair. Whether it's for a trim, getting rid of stubborn gray hair, or just freshen up, Majestic Butterfly is a cut above the rest. Formal hairdos for school dances, or getting ready for the happiest day of your life. The professionals at Majestic Butterfly know how to make you look your best and feel your best for every day and for every occasion. Offering women's, men's, and children haircuts. Color services, perms, eyelash extensions, and eyebrow and lip waxing. Call 307-369-2201 now for a free consultation and schedule your appointment. Stylists can also be contacted directly at the numbers below. Locally owned and family friendly, Majestic Butterfly, hair and beyond. Fourth quarter action here in Bison Gymnasium. We got an exciting one. Let's just hope the South got their third quarter out of the way, huh? 34 to 28, six point lead for the Lady Camels. South led pretty much the whole way. There's only been four lead changes. 15 to six, Gillette outscored them in that third. So hopefully South can get back to playing the way they did in the first half. There's a whistle away from the ball. Blue 31, so now. You know, Maddie Jacobson for the Lady Camels sat mo most of that first half because she picked up 3,000 like the first 20 seconds of the game. And but now she's in. And the Lady Camels have been. Shots. Yeah, she's been, they've been playing totally different with her back in. So. They need to have Riley go at her. They do. Hang her with her fourth. Make her play tentative. 31's about to pick up two quick ones on her. She's going to pick up her fourth. I got her for three. They got her for four now up there. She's going to be subbed out by number 23, Lady Bison on the side. South's got to take advantage of when they get players in foul trouble. You know, they got to attack those players and not lose the There's ball a turn like that. Over there. I'm going to fortunately have to credit that one to Ray. <laughs> Coach Sobrian nails it on the head. Giving Dre Demas a little bit of coaching. 34 to 28, largest lead for the Lady Camels was eight points that they built up late in the third. South's largest lead was nine a couple times in the first half, Steve. And South's offense went stagnant. And we you got to fight for the rebound. They're just not hustling just after the rebound. The rebound. They got to rebound the basketball. So Gillette still with it out top, working it around to Lacey. I mean, you got to scrap and hustle and fight. 
There's a steal by Callista. She's going to slow it up. Give it over to Jaya. Smart move. Take Lady Camels in the zone. South Achilles Hill is the zone defense. Three ball, Jaya Brown. That's huge for the Lady Bison there. Cuts it to a three point lead. The defensive stop here is big for South. There's a missed shot by number 14. Don't let him get set, yeah. So Jay Brown has it out top, three point lead for Gillette, south with the ball. Down low to Callista, cross. Jay, feeling it. She goes to the block and she stopped. They'll have to get it out, Tovar. She'll try three, that's off the mark. And nobody back on Castellanos, who's gonna have an easy lay. No, she misses the layup. Boy, she had an easy two points wow. there. Just didn't finish it. Gotta count Hands on. all over is number 14. Callista from the left elbow. Two point basket, South on a 5-0 run to start the fourth. Let's take the timeout with them. It's a one point game. Gillette 34, South 33 on 11 12 BISA. Your Bison Network. Majestic Butterfly Beauty Salon treats your hair like their canvas. Locally owned and family friendly, Majestic Butterfly offers women, men's, and children haircuts, as well as color services and perms. Your hair is their masterpiece. So if you are looking for a new style, great hair doesn't happen by chance, it happens by appointment. Our stylists can schedule an appointment by calling any of the numbers below, or you can call Majestic Butterfly directly at 307-369-2201. Majestic Butterfly, beautiful hair with beautiful care. Five thirty-one to go in the ball game. We have a Majestic Butterfly one here at South. It's Gillette thirty-four, South thirty-three. The Lady Camels will have the ball under their own basket. Gillette will be South will be in the bonus rather from here on. Gillette with sixteen fouls, so from here on, South will be at the free throw line. South has a couple fouls to give both teams with one timeout. That's what we're looking at here as we go down the stretch. Lady Camels with the ball. South looking for a stop. Number 24 misses the layup. Down low, <clears throat> McKenna Harlan gets the rebound. South with a chance to take the lead. Brown. Jaya will set the offense. They need to really be patient and get a good shot here. There goes Callista. She gets down low. Jaya kicks it out. Reyna. Down low, Riley kicks it out. Three ball short, but Tovar almost helps it after the rebound, but it comes away to Jacobson. And now Gillette will come the other way with it. 4.36 to go. One point ball game here. Wild shot there by Milleron, and South just throws it away. Cannot be doing that down the stretch here. That's what kills these girls, or these passes, these no-lookers, when they're not even looking where they're throwing the ball. I'm speechless. Man. I, geez, man. I think that's how that, you know, last night we talked about they were within three mm -hmm. midway through the third quarter, and then they just went on a stretch where they just started turning the ball over. They just need to settle down. They'll bring it into Miller on. To Lacey. Long three ball there is hit by number 21, Maddie Robertson. She's got two three pointers this half. So she's starting to heat up. Four point game. One thing South can't do is panic. They're only down by four. No. Two, Plenty of time. Two possession game, you know, work your offense, 
get some good defensive stops, get some baskets to fall, and good things will happen. Callista going to get down low, put up a right hand, can't get it to go. Volleyball around down low. It's going to be out of bounds off of South. That was actually a nice move by Callista. She took the screen, went far side, and honestly, I think she pulled up a little too short. She should, she should have attacked 35. She's, you know, 35's got three fouls, but sometimes you see that size and you do want to pull up and just shoot short like that. So, But that was a good move for her to get to the basket. Got to get a stop still. Plenty of time left. Gillette with the cross-court pass. There's a steal by Riley. She's got him beat. She's got to get to the bucket. Oh, she's hammered. Nope. She gets to the bucket. Actually, she did a nice jump stop there. You juked everybody. Let the, let the Gillette defenders go right by. Then Gillette travels on the inbound, and South will get the ball back. So Gillette turnover. South will get the ball back. 3 12 to go, down by two. And you gotta, you got to grab the momentum, Steve. You know, Gillette's had the momentum since early, early in the third. Actually, since I'd say late in the second, late in the second quarter. So Jay Brown looking to bring it in. She better get it in. She does. Now Gillette up in the defensive pressure a little bit. That's nice Boy, save there by teams. Dimas. It was Riley. She's going to go down low. She's to the block. Put it up. Can't get it to go. Demas up for the rebound. What are they going to call? Held ball. Jump ball. And it's going to be south ball. So that gives Gillette back the possession arrow. And I wouldn't be taking her out right now. I just would not be taking her out. <laughs> Yeah, I, maybe I, saving her for a stretch. I run. don't know, man. You you gain some of that momentum back, and you take out your best post player. I I I'd keep her on the floor. That's just me. Jay goes right around the defense. There's going to be a foul there on 14, I believe. It's going to send South to the free throw line She's for a one-on-one. She's an aggressive ball player. I'll tell you that. That'll be her fourth foul. I mean, she's got six points. She's been making her first trip to the free throw line on the season. Jay shoots. 65% from the free throw line. She's actually the best free throw shooter for the Lady Bison. These are big here. Huge. Huge. She makes the first. Brings it to one. Chance to tie with the second free throw here. Riley just getting a blow. Misses him. The second, and here come the Lady Camels. Now with the one-point lead, 2.44 to go. Can't leave her open. She's been on the hot streak. Boy, they got to have better hands than that. McKenna Harlan had it in her hands. She just couldn't control it. South just not hungry for rebounds. Nope. I think if they would have rebounded the basketball. Now it's ahead to Drea. She's had a chance to give the Lady Bison the lead. It's just too strong. Turn around, that's not the best shot, but that's all right. 2.13 to go, they're gonna have to get back on D. Here comes Miller on. Wild right hand, can't get it to go. McKenna with the rebound. Don't throw that. Do not throw that ball. <laughs> I don't care how bad your how parents open. are screaming in the, fan, in the stands, don't throw it. I don't care how old <laughs> she looks. Sprint down the court, do not throw that ball. Under two to go, one point ball game. I think they've completed three long cross-court passes all season long, so that was a good move there. Oh, That's a Calista. good turnaround. Oh, there's a hustling rain of Tovar for the rebound. She gets it to McKenna yeah. Harlan. Harlan gets to the block, right hand, can't get it going. And that's four fouled. fouls. That's going to be fouls on the big. You got a foul on the big. Foul on the big. And foul Harlan. on the big. Foul on the big. Harlan 0 for 4 from the free throw Ooh, line. Hush your mouth, Alan. <laughs> I got her 0 for 3. Uh, she's 0 for 4. You need to shut your pile. <laughs> <laughs> These missile drive auto body free throws are going to be shot by McKenna Harlan. Do I have to shoot free throws? Hey! And hey, we got a tie ball game here at Cheyenne South High School. 37 37, 133. You got a. Oh, I think. Is she the shooter? She's the shooter. Shooter. She's for the shooter. The shooter. Shooter McGavern. Shooter. 
Oh, she misses the second. Tie ball game, minute 32. Oh, boy, this is going to come right now to it. Gillette quickly down the court. Long three ball there by Go get Castellanus. the rebound, man. Don't just look at it. Go get the rebound. Man, they have got to get a rebound. That's Timeout. Horrible hustle. Gillette. So. Just look at the ball as it gets off the rim. Just look at it go right over your head. Yeah. Don't even make an effort. We're going to keep it right here. There's no effort on the rebounding right now. None by the Lady Bison. And that's that's what's driving me nuts right now. you got to be hungry. Ugh. Let's reset it for you. There's a minute 18 to go. The game is tied. South is in the bonus because Gillette has eight fouls. South has two fouls to give. That might prove pretty timely down the stretch. South will have one timeout left. Gillette just used their last one. So that's the game reset sponsored by Missile Drive Auto Body. Confidence without compare. That's something else without compromise. <laughs> Quality without compromise. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's great. So Gillette will have the ball. They'll inbound it on the far side, on the sideline. Now, here's the thing. That was Gillette's last time out, like you said, Steve. And that's an advantage. See, that's man. the thing, Alan. We going to rock all day. So we get a good one to call here coming down the stretch. Steve McDonald and Alan Cummings here with you. 118 to go. Tie ball game. South does not want to commit any silly fouls. Ooh, there was a nice play as Miller on lost Tovar. Bad shot there. Get the rebound. And she does. Jaya quickly up ahead. Demas and she throws it away. No, it got tipped out of bounds. Holy it cow. Out of bounds. It got tipped out of bounds. Luckily. Yep. One minute One left. One minute to go. What does Sal do Ooh, here, Alan? We're being emotional. I got to let it go. We're being emotional. We're being emotional. I South's, so South's going to run an inbound baby. play here. To Jaya. That's a good move to get rid of the bit. Sorry, but timeout, timeout. No, they're going to call a held ball. That's going to be Gillette ball. It's going to be Gillette ball. Oh, my goodness. Get a stop. Get a stop. So Harlan for Jay Brown on defensive switch here. What a ball game we have here. And Milleron's going to be quickly ahead. Oh, Wide no. open three. Robertson misses it. And again a rebound that South can't get. And, yep, that's the that's story of this ball game. They're just getting killed on the boards. Simple rebound attempt. Calista too. gets to the hole. Right hand can't get it to go, but she's fouled. Let's see who they get here. These are huge. 34 seconds left. 35 is out of the game. So Maddie Jacobson's going to foul out. Now, these free throws are huge for Callista here. Huge. <laughs> Maddie Jacobson, the big, fouls out. Remington Gusick checking in, two points a game. Now, the good thing is South still has one timeout left. I wouldn't use it right now. She does make the first. <laughs> First one goes. This Sorry. one is huge. Huge. It's 39-38. Sorry, I didn't adjust the score for all the fans watching. 34.8 seconds left for this Missile Drive Auto Body free throw attempt. You can hear a pin drop. And you can hear the twines getting tickled. Sal with some good defense. The tow bar goes down. A Miller on has it. There's Robertson again wide open. Air balls, but she just knows their team's going to get the rebound. Wow, South has just done a pathetic job on the board. They have. They have not done a good job. Unbelievably pathetic. 
Salter. That's a story of the ball game here. You got to so get a Sal will have 15.7 seconds to try to. Uh, boy, I don't know. I'm, I'm sure you probably haven't been counting rebounds. We're going to take a timeout here on the Bison. 11 12, BISN, your Bison Network. Welcome to the historic Round Top Mountain Motel and Cabins. Located in scenic Thermopolis, Wyoming, it is within walking distance access to the Hot Springs State Park, as well as world-class fishing, motorcycling, golfing, rodeo grounds, and downtown shopping and restaurants. A Wyoming family-owned and operated motel for travelers offers seasonal rates for nightly, weekly, and monthly rentals. Senior, military, and government discounts are also available. Stay at the Round Top Mountain Motel and Cabins on your next visit to Thermopolis, Wyoming. Make your reservation by calling 307-421 7520 and tell them 11 12. So we're back here, ISA. Steve. Fourth quarter action. Both teams have no timeouts. 15 seconds left, South down by two. And they'll have the possession. So they have got to get something here. They cannot come up empty. They get it into Demas. Demas gets to the hole. Right hand, she gets fouled, but we'll see what happens here. Dre is a good free throw shooter, decent free throw shooter. Maddie Robertson gets her fourth. Forty-one thirty-nine. And I'll tell you what, I like that move by Drea. She had a wide open lane. Why not take it to the basket, right? Oh. Misses the first, and now South's probably going to have to foul on the rebound. You're going to foul. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Boy, you look back on this one if it doesn't end up going the Lady Bison's way. Rebounds. rebounds are the name of the game. They probably out rebounded three to one tonight, if not four to one. See if they can deny the inbound. Last four points for the Lady Camels. Okay. Last four points for the Lady Camels came off offensive rebounds, Steve. So. So number eleven goes to the line. She's only a she. Well, she's a sixty-five percent. Free throw. Actually, yeah, South had yeah. the two fouls to give. Still got They've one still more. got another one to give. So if they can deny this inbounds, get a steal here, go to the rack, that's what they want to try to do. Neither team with a timeout, so they got to play on. Got a foul quick. There's a good foul there. They need to, to deny the inbound. 7.6 seconds to go now. That was our foul to give, so... Coach DeBrine imploring his team to deny this inbounds. That's going to be Callista picking so up her So it will be Castellano scoring to the line. And again, she's 65%. It'll be a one and one, though. And here's so you got to throw the jinx on her to miss the front end. South will have six seconds. No timeout. So if she misses the front end, they got to get it up and get a shot off in a quickness. Boy, this is where you wish you had one. If she makes the first and misses the second, she still has a chance. She does make the first. Regardless, if she makes both, Steve, it's still, still a one-position one position game. game but then yeah. you'll need a three. Right now, if she misses this and South gets a rebound, which I'm not all that confident to I'm be not all quite honest with you. You gotta hurry. Three seconds. Two. One. She pushed the shot up for the tie, and they just can't get it done. Oh my goodness. What a ball game. Jay had about an eight-footer from the baseline to tie it. And they come up empty. So that's the final score here. Give the ladies a hand. They played a good ball game tonight. Stick around for the Nothing to, I mean, second part of this. You game. had the game within reach, Steve, and it just came down to rebounds. Who wanted those rebounds more? Credit the Lady Bison, though. They did not give up. They got down by eight points late, early in the second half, and they came back and made an exciting ending. So, 
They'll be back in Sher- They'll be up in Sheridan next Friday, Steve. Yep. So. All right. So we're gonna yep. take a timeout now. Final score here: Gillette 42, South 40. Heartbreaker for the Lady Bison. We'll turn this thing around and uh, pick up the boys' game here in approximately 15 minutes on 11:12 BISN. Your Bison Network. 